actually get a chance to talk here. So as you've seen us doing, the dowsing rods will be used for question. Uh, you can answer yes and no. Um, can you straighten the rods out for me? We're really excited to ask you some questions. Um, I love shooting the queer ghost hunters using the dowsing rods because I don't think there's anything more visual um, of them actually possibly making contact with a queer entity than seeing those rods move and seeing the reaction shot of the person in the background. Um, are you a male? Okay. Mm. Oh, God. It's just so cool like to see that. Straighten out for me again. We got, this is great. This is great. Straighten out again for me so we can talk. All right. Thank you. The problem is that when you show it on the screen to people, it looks like the person with the dowsing rods is actually moving them like this. When in reality, you can't really, because here, take a look. Oh wait, let me show you this way. See the, okay, wait. Okay, wait. See the metal goes into like a little tube and it's that little tube you hold onto. So this can move freely. They're super low friction devices, and so any kind of micro movement in your hand, a muscle twitch, or your breath can impact the way they're reacting. Although, you know, it's difficult to have that happen multiple times over a period of several minutes. You know, you're not going to have the same muscle spasm 27 times in a 10 minute period or something. Does it help you? Um, to talk with us in this way. Wonderful. We're so glad we Questions hope we can. It's always funny that with <laughs> as much high tech equipment that we have, it feels the like. The, yeah. <laughs> the same the thing all the time. A little bit of metal seems to always, but it's what this gives me the most camera. feeling a concrete I'm proof, straight knowing straight that, that it can't be one of us manipulating it. Right. But you, it I was. I was so skeptical of it until I actually did, did it. Tell your story. Mm -hmm. Same way. Am I speaking with a nun? Now let me ask you this: Did you have to keep it a secret? Wow, that's some tough stuff. I'm sorry. I mean, it's just so nice connecting with. Another lesbian who lived a hundred years ago. Well, what's the, uh, who knew? Who knew we could do this?